Good morning, Grizzlies. I'm Star. And I'm Brianna. Bringing you At Chesapeake Public Schools, we have a philosophy that each and every child is a masterpiece. And it is our mission to provide the best public education experience possible for our children. To support this mission, the Chesapeake Education Foundation was formed in 2005. And really it began in a time when we, when we were not in a major financial crisis. The intent of it in the beginning was uh, to provide assistance in particularly capital venture. But it's uh, evolved now into a very important uh, funding structure for our teachers who are provided with grants and uh, to do instructional things in the classroom. We've expanded and put many of our community members on the foundation, uh, which has brought a lot of them into our, our school family so that they understand the problems that we're going through. Was, which subject was this? Science. Science. The mission of the Education Foundation is simple. And our main mission was to, to raise funds to supplement the city budget after the budget was passed with the schools. Well, then we came up with a list of things that we saw that they needed to function to keep our schools uh, number one. Venus is covered in atmosphere that sucks up the sun's heat. It's a thousand degrees day or night. The foundation provides a number of resources for the schools to enrich the curriculum. Resources such as teacher grants to support classrooms, college scholarships to high school seniors. Larger grants are often given to schools to support technology. Funding is raised from our annual golf tournament, our restaurant week, the Chesapeake State of the Schools address, sales of DVDs of graduation ceremonies, United Way designations, and designated gifts through businesses, individuals, and community groups. Uh, we did the scholarship because um, we really value education. We know how important it is. I mean, we feel it's really important to give back to the community. Helping education kind of comes full circle. Um, my father passed away in 2008, and that year, my mother, brother, sister, and I um, talked about setting up a memorial for him, and we decided to do it in the form of a scholarship. He was a juvenile judge for 25 years, so the youth of the city was very important to him. Well, the Chesapeake Education Foundation is what we view uh, as, a, as a, an entity that supports public education in Chesapeake, but does not necessarily fund what we consider to be a governmental function. We do not fund governmental functions, but we fund into education projects that enhance and enrich education. What's bigger, six or seven? Seven. Numerous classroom instructional grants have been given throughout the district. I earned a thousand dollar grant initially for iPads and apps for the classroom um, and then over the summer I earned another twenty-five hundred dollars so I could purchase more apps for the classroom and the iPads are the pen and pencil of today so I'm just really trying to embrace the paperless effort that our school is um, taking on. Well, the foundation has been a wonderful support to the school district because it has really helped supplement some programs and make education fun for the kids. So they've had opportunities that they would not have had if it wasn't for the Chesapeake Public School Foundation that added some enhancements and helped with some funding in a time where we have a lot of funding shortfalls. How many pens and pencils are in the pouch, the pencil pouch? Indian River Middle School was awarded a $500 grant in order to help us with some of our instructional materials, particularly our binders that we use for our students in an effort to um, implement the WICOR strategies, particularly organization. It broke up into the land masses we see today. Our current aging planetarium observatory center is in great need of updating. So this planetarium was built with what's called National Defense Education Act money. Uh, it opened in 62-63 school year. A capital campaign is currently underway to build a state-of-the-art science and planetarium observatory center. Another goal of the Education Foundation is the awarding of larger grants, such as this wind turbine at Grassfield High School. The foundation has been a part of Grassfield High School since its inception. They provided money for our G News broadcasting studio, which brings our morning announcements to the students and faculty each and every day. They also have provided several grants to teachers uh, for grants they have submitted for classroom instruction. And recently, the most recent project is uh, over $15,000 donation to make our wind turbine happen. 
The Educational Foundation has been extremely supportive of Deep Creek High School. Um, many, many of our teachers will apply for the educational grants and they have come up with some wonderfully creative um, ideas to use in the classroom to provide resources for learning. One of the biggest things that I think the Foundation did for us initially was they gave us a $100,000 grant for smart boards in our classroom. That provided about 25 wall-mounted smart boards that enhanced um, the rigor of our Science and Medicine Academy. Teachers There's teach because they love education and they love students and they love helping young people grow. And they're limited when they're limited with funding. And in this economic time with all of the budget cuts, it has really been a huge help to teachers and our school system to have the foundation raise supplementary income that they can use for educational programs. For more information about the Chesapeake Public Schools Educational Foundation, please visit our website at cpsef.org.